Oh, uh, hello, you've got Wang are one of the many hilariously offensive lines of dialogue that you will find in this game. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back, Force here. And today we will be checking out Shadow Warrior. This is an over-the-top first-person shooter that is a reimagining of the classic 1997 game from 3D Realms of the same name that was not only known for being a good, good game, but was also known for the controversy behind being an overtly offensive characterization of Asian culture. Now this game, supposedly, is focusing less on that aspect of things and more on solid gameplay. And I would say, oh lord, I just almost blew myself up. I would say that they have succeeded in the sense that the gameplay is really good and a lot of fun. So let's talk about that gameplay as we run past hordes of demons and try to heal ourselves up before we die. Uh, so there's a bunch of different things that you can do in this game. Uh, there's sort of, you know, there is the shooter element, but what I found more enjoyable, not that the shooting is bad, and it's kind of hilarious when you blow stuff up and kill 100 demons with it as well. The shooting is good. It, it, it feels, it works as a solid shooter, but I just have found the sword play so much more fun and disgusting. As you can see, you can literally chop things to bits if that's your forte. This feels less wrong because they're demons, but then you see stuff like this and it's still kind of wrong. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, it, it's very visceral and it's a lot of fun. The actual act of engaging in melee combat is quite enjoyable and it, it, it's made this one of my most enjoyed shooter slash slasher games of this year, no doubt. It's, it's, it's quite quite fun, quite fluid. So let's talk about the gameplay uh, in terms of uh, the, the various things you can do. So you've got the, uh, the, the shooter elements where you've got a variety of weapons. Right now at the moment we just have the pistol. This is pretty early on in the game. Uh, but as you progress throughout the course of the game, you'll unlock more weapons. You can get upgrades for those weapons, etc. Then there's also the melee element. Uh, you've got a basic couple of basic slashes. You also have a charge up slash which you can hold down to release and do more damage. There are also special weapon attacks, like I've got this forward thrust here where I charge it up and it's going to instantly kill any basic minions in front of me. And then there's a variety of magical attacks or abilities, like this heal, which only heals me up to 65%, so we're not going to see any more of that at the moment. There's also a little forward knockdown thruster that I have that pushes a wave of energy forward. And those are just what I've unlocked so far. Uh, more abilities will be unlocked as we move through the game. There are sort of several different unlock paths. Again, there's uh, special melee attacks, special magic attacks, and then whoo, uh, weapon upgrades. So those are sort of the three upgrade trees that you have access to in this game, uh, which we will be taking a look at a little bit later in this video. For now, though, I want to uh, just briefly touch on something. So we are currently in an arcade within the game. And there are a few game machines, all of which are related to the companies behind this game. So the developer, Flying Wild Hog, uh, beyond making this has al also made the game hard reset Which we have here and the publisher devolver digital is responsible for su such games like hotline, Miami And Serious Sam where'd serious Sam machine go? I know there was one around here somewhere. That's another hard reset must be upstairs There's also a uh, arcade machine for the original shadow warrior oh, Want us some wang? Oh, want us some wang. See, I told you, lots of offensive dialogue. Hey, baby, you in bed? Is there room for two? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, and, there, and there's uh, there's Serious Sam. Mr. Wesson, glad you could make it. It's kind of cool that they have those in here. I, I really like that. And there's also a bunch of posters on the wall. Peace Corps, Super Vigilance. We've got a nice Hotline Miami image back there. Hard Reset, Dying City. Uh, that's continuing this game being offensive. Easy to get. Chlamydia and syphilis. Please report on licensed prostitution. Okay, we need to go downstairs to get a key, so we're just going to do that. Yeah, the gameplay in this game is very, very, very solid. Uh, once more, I, I, I definitely more so have been enjoying the melee combat. Not that I wouldn't. I, I feel like I would probably still enjoy this game as a shooter, but if it, if it was just another FPS in this crazy setting with demons, I don't think I would be as keen to it as I am right now because of the existence of this fantastic, uh, fantastically realized melee combat system. Uh, now, there's just a, a touch of the stuff that we'll have full access to 
And we'll be unlocking some abilities that you'll be able to see uh, sort of a more dynamic look at the system. Just a little background so you understand what the heck just happened. Uh, so we're playing as Lo Wang. Uh, a very well-known Chateau Warrior, and you start off the game trying to find this sort of mythical sword for your employer, basically. Uh, what ends up happening though is things go awry, the sword is not given to you, demons come over and take the sword and run away with them. And then you're like, hey, I need to get the sword because, you know, that's my job. I'm, that's literally why, why you start out the game, you were sent here again by your employer to retrieve this sword thing. And also because it's a demon sword that can defeat demons and then this other demon is helping you try to find the sword and that's that second voice you heard uh kind of convoluted a little strange over the top not really super important honestly in my opinion what's more important is the gameplay is so good there's so much so many explosives in the environment also now, demon vultures get demon vultures which we have to sort of like remove their overshield before we can completely kill them but hey, you know what? We've got a uh, we've got an amazing katana that we can chop these guys up with. So no big deal, right? <laughs> Did you just hear that? He said, "Watch the blood." This is dry clean only. All right, all right. So whenever whatever stance that you're in, basically what I mean by that, there's not like actual stances, but whether or not you have the uh, sword out or a ranged weapon, you always have two options. Uh, one is going to be for a melee attack, and one is going to be for a ranged attack. So, for example, when I pull out the, the pistol here, we can shoot these guys at a distance. Or, we've got this close range slash. Well, the same thing is true when we have the sword out. We've got, the obviously, the sword attack, but then we also have these throwing stars that we can do. So you'll always have... Oh my lord. Almost just died there. Let me go ahead and heal myself up. So you always have a melee and a ranged attack. She kill all these people. No matter what the situation. The demons. They're protecting her. Protecting her or massacring everything else. Apparently it's all the same to them. Alright, so we're gonna move in here. We've got to destroy this to progress through to the next part. Yeah, something you have to be careful about. I'm playing on the hard setting, which I think is the third of four difficulties. There is one more above this. Uh, there's a lot of explosive environments, so much so that you will accidentally blow yourself up on a regular basis, so please be careful of that. Uh, now, before we progress much further, actually, we'll get this crystal first. Let me show you the upgrade systems. One, once again, there are three different upgrade systems. You can either upgrade your weapons, which you use money for, money that you find in the environment. Now, once more, at the moment, I just have the katana and this uh, pistol here, and that is it. You can also upgrade, there is a skill system and a power system. So I've got karma points. Uh, there, there are just various collectibles that you get. There is karma, and then they pronounce this as chi, but I always thought chi was C-H-I. It could just be a games pronunciation, a uh, games spelling version of it. Or I could just have always gotten it wrong, and it might be K-I. But yeah, they pronounce it as Chi. Anyway, so there are Chi crystals, as well as these Karma points. And you find them moving throughout the course of the game, progressing throughout the game. And then you use them to upgrade various things. Now, it's cool because in each one of these, there's a multitude of branches. So for example, there's Katana Mastery here under Karma points. There's also Knowledge. Movement. Luck. Mind. Restoration, I mean, that's a lot of different things. Now, I'd like to unlock the second katana ability because I like the sword play the most, and this is gonna give me a little spinny attack, so we're gonna use our karma point for that. But yeah, lots of different uh, lots of different sort of upgrade options that you have, uh, which actually I was pleasantly surprised at because I didn't expect this game to have this many options. Uh, now here into this one, um, so I already know the tiger's roar. And I could upgrade it to Tiger's Pounce. Tiger's Roar, Roar is my forward knockdown. There is also the heal. So I know the Peacock's Blessing. We could upgrade it so that it's, let's see. Shields me from harm, receiving no damage. Or receiving damage no longer breaks the channeling. Or I can improve the channeling technique. So I think that means it makes me heal faster. But it looks like it only... Okay, so I could go into this route. Yeah, we're going to go into this route. I'm going to spend my... My, uh, my chi crystal on that. And then let's finally go to the weapons here. 
and we can get some upgrades. Looks like I actually can't get those yet. I need to learn them. But we could get an up some upgrades for the pistol, I believe. So we have uh, ammunition. We could get the extended barrel, which will give me increased accuracy. And that's all I had money for. If I wanted to get this, I need uh, a little bit more money, 1600 And then there's also single action. Switch to a western style rapid fire. That's pretty cool. So yeah, three different upgrade trees. Uh, weapons, skills, and powers. Weapons with money, skills and powers with the different collectibles that you find moving throughout the course of this game. Surprisingly more in-depth than, than what I expected from this game. Again, I did not expect that at all. So that's, that, was a, that was a pleasant surprise. I, th I mean, that's, I think that's what I'd describe this game as, as a whole. Just a pleasant surprise. I really just initially thought that this was go going to just be another first-person shooter game where they have demons. And I remember hearing about the, the 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 melee aspect because that was part of the original Shadow Warrior, but I didn't expect much from it, to be perfectly honest with you. I, I just I didn't go into it thinking, yeah, it's going to be a great, a great fun melee adventure. But you know what? That's exactly what it turned out to be for me. This is a great fun melee adventure. All right, I'm going to try to run in between these guys and do my new slash that we just learned here. So we charge it up, and then we spin around in 360, chopping these guys up like that. Uh, now there, there is a star system, which I don't believe I've mentioned yet. Basically, all the encounters in this game are sort of predetermined. You'll enter an area, and there'll be a set number of enemies that you have to engage. And now what'll happen is there is a rating right here, uh, and it's basically dependent on the variety that you use in combat. So if you take out enemies with some sword play, you throw some stars at them, you switch to a couple of pistol shots, you do a close range melee attack, and then you use, for example, uh, let's say you use like the spin around sword slash. The more variety you have in combat, the more, the higher ranking that you're going to get. And I also think that directly translates into you, because I'm pretty sure that's associated with the karma, and the better that you do in combat, the faster you'll acquire karma points, I think that's the case, and uh, and then that translates into getting upgrades faster. So they're just encouraging variety, basically. Oh, right mind would leave. Oh shit! Please explode! Please explode! Please explode! Please explode! Come on! Cowabunga, assholes! Let's go! All right, so we've got a brand new weapon now, which is nice. Is this, is this considered like a submachine gun? I don't know guns very well, so... Whatever it's considered, it's a pretty good weapon. But yeah, I wouldn't- I don't want to just do that. Like, that's not advantageous to try to get a lot of stars. I want to move in and attack them with all these different things. Let's get this guy here. That attack. We need to catch this thing, right? Before it can return to its master. Oh. The masters. It was sent here by the ancients, the rulers of the Shadow Realm. Oh, lovely. Anything else I should know about? Oh, probably, but I don't want to upset you. <sighs> Too late. <laughs> I don't know. I um, I, I'm, I'm really, really having a good time with this game. A pleasant surprise, like I mentioned. I think this is a heck of a lot of fun. The the one major deterrent I would say about this title would probably be the price point. It's coming in at forty dollars, and I feel like a lot of people would expect. It. I don't know, maybe, but maybe that's unjust. You know, maybe that's unfair to the developer because, like I said, this is a lot of fun to play. Uh, the bes besides the price point, my only other slight complaint is it seems to have some issues with optimization there are fortune cookies as well <laughs> sometimes the fortunes are stupid sometimes they're funny a lot of times they're both stupid and funny uh, but there have been some performance issues i basically noticed some frame jumping uh, now please keep in mind that's the game's still sitting at about 100 frames on average for me but it does uh it does sort of bounce a little bit Okay, let's go ahead and do the spin attack. This would be a good one. I just love that spin attack so much. Uh, but yeah, beyond that, beyond slight optimization issues is what I'm chalking that up to be. 
And beyond the price point being at forty dollars, if um, I personally would be okay with the price point of forty dollars, knowing that the game's campaign is somewhere in the vicinity of ten to twelve hours, I think that forty dollars isn't asking too too much. Uh, but if you if you're one of those people who thinks you'd probably want to wait for a sale, I guess I wouldn't blame you because I could also see this game coming in at at a, a twenty or thirty dollars and maybe being sort of a much more appetizing point price point for people but again just my humble opinion so i guess that'll do it i just again wanted to show you guys some game plan give you my initial thoughts on this title which are good i think this is a good game i think it's a lot of fun it's pretty darn funny and why am i running around in circles when the door is clearly right here i have no idea to be honest with you oh no more crazy demons and i guess that will do it guys thanks so much for watching once again force here checking out shadow warrior the over the top first person shooter slash slasher game from wild hog flying wild hog and oh come on die die thank you and evolver digital good title i enjoy it just so much fun to slash. Forget all this gunplay. Cut these fools in half. Are you going to do something or just stand there and breathe? They sure do smell like burnt taint when I do that. That was the most disgusting thing I've ever heard.